Punt it off. Your defenders have you hit us, put your pads in. Don't be looking for the ref to throw no flags in. Keep the helmet on, keep your cleats tight. You the type to want to win by any means, right? You should look alive. This is Trapper Dive. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Welcome back to another episode of the Trapper Dive podcast provided to you by 214 Media. You know who I am. I'm your host, Hendall Mall. Hendy Mall. Mall at Mall. Matter of fact, this was Tequila Mall over the weekend, man. Shout out to Morgan State. What a fucking day. I didn't even mean to start off the show cussing like that. I'm sorry, but what a day. Because uh, everybody, I seen the tweets. We talked, Nick, Raph, and, and Brad, 7 p.m. I don't remember nothing after that. <laughs> we were out, and we were out till like 2 a.m. What the hell happened? Fellas, how y'all doing? Good, bro. Chilling, having a good week. You know what I mean? Enjoying myself. Good workout today. Why you having a Why are you having a good week? About to go to Cancun a few days, bro. You know, enjoy life. You know what I mean? I have a good little time. My man B Day turn up, so it's gonna be a good time. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Nick, how you feeling, bro? I see you, know, you put your thunder shades on. I'm chilling, baby. You know I ain't your in your no bay rants. I ain't in no rush to do nothing. So, you know, I'm just chilling. Oh, uh, my God, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a great week, bro. Like, um, just another another week. That's another uh, blessed Tuesday. After mm-hmm. my boys called a dub on Sunday. Mm-hmm. Um, hmm. We all don't know about that, but <laughs> me and Rai do. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Nah, I, I, I know about that. I, we got a dub. Who's we? Two two things. HUH got a dub this weekend, and uh-huh. then Washington got a dub on the season. They won the four. They got a dub. You mean like yeah. last week? We got a dub. We ain't, we got a dub in the first week of the season. Mm. Okay. Man, it ain't like we own six or own right. five. Mm-hmm. We were talking about this past week, but it's all right. Yeah, but I'm talking about week five dubs. Why y'all? Why y'all? That's what's up. Good for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that's, that's that's very yeah. interesting, man. And very interesting. Uh, conversation. Um, uh, what the hell else happened this week? We did the Morgan thing, man. We had the gym today. Rye, Rye had complained about 70,000 times in that jump. I ain't gonna lie to you, though, Rye. That, those, uh, straight leg jumps, bro. Oh, no. And, and didn't have it to do them joints. See, I was late. See, doing the you had to catch up. Yeah, that's oh, no, 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 no. I had to take the seat after that. Let me go have it. Let me. You saw me. I was crawling to the to the to the wall. Bruh. And Ali, see, he he in the power lifting competition coming up, so he trying to max out on everything he do now. So he worked out with us today. Look at Nick chips. You... What you doing, bro? I don't even know what that he is. It, I, was, I don't even know what that is, bro. You better... He held up Jones up like we were supposed to know. It's a Trader right. Joe Trader Joe's Nutrigrain bar, bro. Mm, Nutrigrain okay. bar. Oh, you ain't had dinner yet. Hmm. Oh, you did? What'd you have for dinner? Um, these uh turkey tacos. Mm. Okay. It is Hello, Tuesday. Okay. Hello Fresh. You know what I'm saying? Something chill. Right, what's on the menu today for you? I know you told me, but what let the, let the people know. Yeah, bro. I thought about cooking, bro, but because Uh-oh. of this, uh ended up just getting some chicken from Chipotle, bro. I call it a day, bro. <laughs> you got what? Chicken from Chipotle. A little chicken bowl. Okay. Like, I'm about to say he's got. Well, you ain't put no rice. Chicken. You ain't put no beans or nothing in it. Just I'm a plain eater, bro. I don't do none. I do none of that. <laughs> just a bowl. So what you put in your chipotle bowl, bro? He said just a bowl brown of rice and chicken. You don't put no to- lettuce, no tomatoes, corn, cheese, something, bro. Did you hear me say no? So you are gonna keep naming stuff after I said no? Queso, bro. You don't put no queso on top on the side. No. You don't put the 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 the, the, the guac. Nah, bro. I sounded like an engine that was revving. That was crazy. All right. Okay. I, 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 you, you are a little plain. I, I acknowledge that. Right, um, 
But all right, man. Everybody had a good weekend for the most for the most part. That's that's good. That's good to know. Um, that's real good to know. Um, so fellas, we got some things on our on our on our schedule today. Um, do we want to kick things off with the blind five, or do we want to get into uh the shit you see <laughs> on social media? Yeah, let's, let's do the blind five. Bro. Do the blind. Five. All right, bet. Let's go ahead. Y'all know the vibes, man. Um, Nick going to shoot us off five random names from a certain position. Um, and we have to guess in which order or predict in which order. Uh, th- th- get the list. Let's get the list. Fuck it. This okay. thing is some confusing sometimes. The name. Let's go ahead and yeah, get this thing out. There. Yeah. Don't listen to them all. Uh, today. I'm going to have the best list again anyway. Go right. You just had one little list the other day. That was cool. Because I've had. Ass, no. Bro. Nope. That was that was one list. I have won several several yeah. times. I'm looking real right. good in the light. Sorry you look, you the one looking funny in the light. On one list, man. Shut up. Let's go. That's I'm crazy, ready, bro. Um, I am ready. I, I'm gonna squish it up a little, just a tad bit today, and we're gonna do uh your top five surprise teams. I'm gonna give it all some names. You have to guess. You have the list of. How like how surprising this team has been? Like, it's weird, but it's not weird. Like through five weeks, how good is this team or how bad is the team? Like, surprise you from your preview prediction? Just go ahead, bro. Go ahead, bro. All right. First team. Um, how much of a surprise is it that they are a certain record? Like let's start off with this one, New York Giants. How surprised are you? Like that they're four and one. Is that is that a real one or is that an example? That's the real one. Okay, all right. So we're playing ball. Okay, you want me to go first round? You got it. I'm gonna say one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say one too. Yeah. We got number one out of the way. We said it the first time. First go. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, another surprise of this year: Jets are three and two. Three. Uh, I'm gonna go four. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't gonna lie to you because I mean the Jets. Like, think about it with Zach Wilson uh, prior to the injury. Right, like you, you wouldn't have thought that the Jets were going to be zero and five or or two. Yeah. Like so, record wise, it's not surprising at all for me. Oh. Three and two though. Um, yeah, cool. it's Joe Flacco played most of the games, and surprisingly, yeah. Yeah. um, let's see, Minnesota four and one. Are they ready? Yeah. Mm. Uh. Interesting. Oh. Uh, you know, I had many winning the division, so come on now. I'm not surprised at all. You did? Yeah, I said Minnesota was winning the division. And y'all laughed at me on that one, too. So guess what? Who looking funny in the light? Not so me. I laugh. Please show me the footage of me laughing. Yeah, I probably laugh. Not me. I laugh at you regardless. It don't matter what you <laughs> say. <laughs> uh, well, Dallas 4-1. Four four you talking like that. Now, are we talking about like, are we surprised Dallas is born because of Cooper Rush being the backup? I mean, or like because Dak has been injured? Or are we, am I surprised that Dallas is born, period? For, for, I mean, they're 4 1 with a backup quarterback. I mean, that's, that's kind of circumstances. So, two. Okay, two. Mine's looking like Dallas. You know what would have been good? Uh, I'm going to say, actually, Damn, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say three. Uh, I was gonna say you know what would have been good is if we if we mixed up the the teams like record wise like it could be it could be the commanders at one and four type thing. Like maybe we knew they was gonna suck though, but I'm glad you said that because the last team uh, is the Raiders at one and four. Oh, you did mix it up. Okay, cool. Damn, I'm glad I did uh, Dallas at three because the Raiders is definitely mm. up there for number two for me. So what's that for you? Let me see. Unfortunately, it's five, I believe. 
Damn. So you thought that you thought they were gonna be ass with Derek Carr. That's what's up. Nah, I didn't think that. <laughs> I didn't no, so you did. <laughs> you definitely did. All right. I, I like I like the cons- I like the inconsistency, but you know what I'm saying? I'm here with Shut you. Up, I'm man. here with you. <laughs> so so Nick, who's who's uh who's listening to you align with more? You you align with Raiders at five or, or Raiders at uh at two? Raiders at two is definitely um a better look. Uh, Raiders at one probably is probably the most shocking. Well, I don't know. Giants at one is is ridiculous. I'm about to say, ain't um, no way in hell they the not. The fact that they're four and one, it still blows my mind. Um, I mean, they they neck and neck. I give them neck and neck, bro. Because the way the Raiders be losing, bro, just blow like they lose so many close games. I think they like lost by a combined five out of five games. They lost like a combined, I think, like by fourteen points or something like that. It's been real close. Just coaching, bro. Um, who was their coach last year? Gruden. And he yeah. got fired. Hey, mid-season. He was last year. Oh, mid-season. I'm about to say, I don't remember him being yeah. an old year, bro. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't remember the dude's name that took over, but he was all right. He just didn't keep his ass. But, I mean, look, I don't know. I mean, coaching plays a part, obviously. Like, that, <laughs> that fourth down call, instead of trying to tie it up, but that was interesting. I mean, they got the ball over, back at the end of the game. game. Over Devontae catch that pass in bounds. All right. Yeah, yeah. I about to say, yeah. But they got they got blessed in a rough in the passing call. That was that was bullshit. Yeah, that that took away that took away a possession from the, the Chiefs. They just finna go down there and, and score. The first just think about it. They go down there, get that, they score. Then they get the ball back at halftime. They score again. We're gonna hold different ball game. Well, don't really matter. They shouldn't have went for two when it was when it was 29-30. No need for that. You know the analytics guy, right? I don't care what the analytics say, bro. I cannot believe they went for two. I can't believe both teams went for two. My thing is, okay, let's say you, you went for two just because you don't think your, your defense is going to be able to stop the offense. Fine. But there's enough time for you to get the ball back and go down and try to score. So, what, what, what was the what, – uh, what, what was, was like the final score minutes. the Raiders had? What was what they end up with? I think it was 31 – yeah. 30 to 29. 29. So I'm trying to think how much they scored in the second half because they did most of their damage first quarter for real. Scored nine points, I believe. Because it was oh, 20 they... to, I think it was 20 to 14 in the, going into the half. Yeah. Or 20 to 10, one of them. So technically their defense handling business um in the second half, bro. It it was a weird both of them was trying to lose yesterday. Um I'm surprised Dr. Devontae pushed cuz though. That was kind of wild. Hey, son, like, if I, bro, that's, you can't, hey, I, sometimes when I see stuff like that, I be wishing, like, I, I wish that was me, bro, because Devontae, I'm, fuck my equipment now, we, we gotta go, nah, you ain't, nah. I don't care who you are, bro, you ain't about to do that to me, bro, I'm just walking, and if y'all saw the video, like, the, the other angle, he wasn't even running to get in his face, he was running across, to cross over, yeah, before and, he walked, right, yeah, bro, and, and Devontae just pushed his man, bro, like, yeah, that's no, it's no need for that. I mean, granted, trust me, we all been there when you lose and you mad as hell, mad as shit, and like, you ain't really trying to hear nothing, see nothing. And, you know, sometimes you do stuff out of anger you only want to do, really, but you're just acting. You're just reacting, and he obviously assumed he dropped in front of his face on purpose, like, and he just pushed him. But in the end of the day, bro, it's uncalled for, bro. It shouldn't happen. And I'm sure he going to learn the hard way. <laughs> when yeah, when they stuff, discipline his ass. Cause they when doing you do something. stuff like that, bro. He about to and they that dude filed a lawsuit, fake. bro. I know. He about to be like, yeah, I'm hurt. I'm big hurt. Like, <laughs> I need, I need some conversation, bro. He about to, hey, before he go into that courtroom, he about to, he about to have a workout with Ali. <laughs> <laughs> hey, quick question before we get off this topic. Um, what's an honorable mention of who y'all? Uh, another surprise team. Another surprise team. Um, it could be good or bad. You know what I'm saying? Why the hell is there, uh, Adrian Peterson joining on this show? Um, a surprise thing. Let's see. Um, well, you know, Denver don't surprise me, so I ain't worried about that one. I'm surprised um, about that, bro. I'm sorry. Yeah, Denver. You got the Rams at two and three. Yeah, That's what I mentioned. I was I was thinking about the Rams, but I couldn't think about what their record was. Two and three. And they, they look terrible. Oh, hey, yeah. it's so much parity in the league right now. If you look at all across the board, there's – bro, all these – like the division leader in AFC North three and two, AFC South three and two, um, Tampa uh, NFC South three and two, 
Um, NFC West three and two. Everybody in that division is two and three or three and two. Um, and then you got in the NFC East is 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 all five, four, and four. And yeah, those are the three teams in the NFC East. Um, it's <laughs> it's incredible, like how the, the parity is in the NFL, bro. Bro, who really? would have thought we would have the best division in football right now, bro? It's early, bro. I just said right now, bro. I mean, nobody, I guess. That's your answer. Who surprises me, though, bro? I would say Miami. Like, I, I obviously, they lost this last week because, I mean, they don't have to. Uh, Teddy got hurt in the game, concussion. But despite all that, they were 3-1. and one, um, And the way they were winning was like, that shit was impressive, bro. Um, and I didn't see that coming, this, regardless of who they added in the offseason, bro. They, they some dogs. That Ravens Dolphins game was epic on that boat, bro. Bro, it was the latest game. Epic, bro. I was probably like nine drinks in, too. Epic, bro. Epic, bro. Oh, oh your 18, your 18 a day limit? 15. On my way to 15, oh, bro. 15. I was nine. I was at nine. I had just asked for another uh, tequila <laughs> ginger ale. I had to wild was four. I need another one, bro. Let me get another drink. <laughs> Bro, let me tell bro, Rollo score, bro, look smacking Ryan. Ryan was already doing this. Time, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I was like, bro, it's lit. Bro. <laughs> and then Ooh. I remember I had said something. I was like, uh, oh, they fighting. And Kiki thought uh they was fighting on the boat, but they was fighting in the Saints game where I think um Mike Evans had stole Lattimore for real. I was yeah. like, bro. Nah, it's trying to push them. It's the witching hour, bro. It's lit. It's well, the wishing um, hour. Wait, did they they had they had red zone or it was individual games like nah, that was TV yeah, individual yeah, games? Individual games. They, they didn't show the, the Thursday night game because they ain't had Prime. I was sick about that. And then they wouldn't let me stream Prime through my iPad. That made me even more furious. I'm like, bro, you already not showing the game, but then you're not gonna let me stream. Like, what game was that? Chiefs? What? That was a good game. Chiefs Chargers, bro. Game mm. was live. Game was live. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. So yeah, and mine's is mine's is the the Dolphins. Who who's your official? Is it the Broncos, bro? Yeah, definitely, bro. Broncos. Why? Because the team is everybody wants to say that they have a bad team, but bro, on paper, everybody thought Jerry Judy just didn't have a quarterback, which is why he was slow to his you know um, progression and getting and being that elite wide receiver. Cortland Sutton. They had a uh, good backs. Well. I thought Melvin Gordon was a back, decent back until he started fumbling all over the place. But Javante Williams tearing his ACL. Um, I thought the offensive line was better than has played. And I thought Russ was going to play better than that. Like, I, Bro, you could not have told me Russ was going to plummet all the way to where he's plummeted to at this point. Bro. I, I have – I had no reason to think that. Now, granted, I thought I thought in Seattle they just, you know – Started losing pieces and just started regressing, but Gino clearly showing, you know, <laughs> that offense still can get the move regardless. So, you know, I'm surprised. Mm-hmm. I thought that would be- and they they airing that motherfucker out more than they did with Russ for real, bro. Like, and Gino, they, they always been trying to get Russ a run game. Hey, Snick, what you Gino need? Your camp this all season, bro. Who Gino? Yeah, I had him in yeah. this. I had him in my camp. Yeah, he came to seventh camp. You only yeah, wearing that only wear seven to come to the camp. Bro, they got the eighth best offense seven in the league camp. right now, bro. <laughs> Who? Um the Seahawks. Uh Detroit had the number one until week this past weekend. What's Detroit they got record? the record? 30 second one and four. 30 second rank deep. Mm. Yeah, Which is kind of surprising because like they, they play good football to like the end, bro. Like guess who they beat. I know who they beat. <laughs> Left hand <laughs> Who are we? <laughs> Bro. Oh, no, I, I think to low key though, the uh, the commanders are a really big surprise. Bro. Like I thought y'all was gonna be like I think that's gonna be world beaters, but I thought y'all would be better with y'all are right now. Um at least win two games. Like y'all suck, bro. Bro, shut <laughs> Hey, nah, right, it, it's bro. it's bad, it's bad, bro. And then we were talking about that joint yesterday at the in the parking lot about Ron Rivera saying what he had to say about this quarterback. And I'm just sitting here like, bro, despite what you meant to say, my bad. Despite what you meant to say, bro, you didn't you didn't fuck up 
10 ways to Sunday saying saying quarterback, bro. And, and it's so layered for, for you all. I, I want to save you all the time, but it's so layered. But but bottom line is, like, Ron, you built this roster. Uh, you built this organization the way you see the football, the football side, the way you see fit. Uh, they gave you the keys. Why are you telling us that you didn't have an opportunity to build around your quarterback when you told us all offseason this was the year you, you expect us to take a step? Um, us meaning me speaking from the head coaching perspective, uh, you, you expect us to take a step, and I think that we will take a step. Uh, and, and you've been building for quarterback, like basically to plug in a quarterback the last since you since you've been here, you've been you just been building to plug in a quarterback. So like how how is it that you know other teams in the in the division have been able to build around their quarterback a Giants team who just got Brian Dayball and Daniel Jones is four and one as a starter but he ain't been playing that great it ain't like they're winning strictly because of him Saquon is playing at an MVP level right now they're giving him the right that ain't got nothing to do with no goddamn Daniel Jones. And he's in a new system, a new – he don't even have a fifth-year – he didn't even get the fifth-year option. Like, they are not building around Daniel Jones in the New, in the New York area. Philadelphia, you can make a case for. Uh, Dak Prescott, you can make a case for. Not no Cooper Rush. Like, what you talking about? Cooper been in the system six years, bro. He knows. He's like, been in the system six years, so they he fits he understands the system, but that they didn't they weren't they were building around their starter, not around no backup. Also underrated, bro. I, Just, forgot, I forgot how long Cooper been on the team because he used to wear a different jerseys than them, right? You said number seven came to the right. camp. Sevens, all right, I forgot about the yeah. sevens camp. Hey, so right. I, that's I just, why he balling, him, bro. It's just <laughs> incredible, bro. So yeah, it's 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 bad. Um <laughs> I did think that there was a worst case scenario that was available or that was a possibility. Um, but I did say my prediction was always 10 and six, but it was based on my 10 and six record was based on the comments that Ron Rivera made. If I had to give like my own prediction. I, I it still wasn't even going to be like this. It was, I was Hold thinking on, like nine are wins. You, are you saying you thought y'all was going to go 10 and six based upon what you heard Ron Rivera say? So I, I was basically putting the pressure on Ron Rivera. I was like, all right, you say this is a big year for you. Okay, you got to win 10 games because that's what it's going to take to win a division type thing. Mm -hmm. Or that's what it's going to take for you to make the playoffs. And sure. and I'm like, all right, so I'm going to hold your feet to the fire. I'm going to hold you accountable. You say we're taking a step up? Cool. 10 wins is my prediction. I'm going to tell you who we need to be. <laughs> and that's 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 how it went for me. Um. But I always hover, point being, I always hovered around that that nine win range. But the worst case scenario that I always put in place is I is it like six wins, anything under six wins, you are talking about <laughs> Dos, Dos Boot. Like he got to go. Me, type thing. You, he, all, looking at the rest of you all schedule, I mean, I know you like to talk about commanders on the show. I just, I'm just saying, like based upon y'all record right now and the remaining games y'all got left on y'all schedule. How you feel like the, the outlook of the rest of your season is going to be versus, you know, do you now start to look toward the draft or you still feel like, man, we should probably still make a run for it? You, you're you hilarious, right? You said, do we start looking towards the draft? Fool, I'm we being in the, for real. We, we, in the, we in the process of figuring out who the hell the next coach finna be the way things are going. We ain't even thinking about the draft right now. Like, that's how bad it is. Like, it's, it's bad. And I'm not exaggerating, like – if I want to be like balanced, I'll, I'll put that opportunity out there. The defense have been improving over the past couple of weeks. Um, they they are still giving up the big plays, and, and I think they lead the league in explosive plays allowed. But from a a, a four quarter standpoint, they're 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 being more consistent. They're playing a little bit better. Um, they also benched William Jackson, um, but they benched them in the Titans game. Yeah, they benched them in the Titans game. People were saying that the, the defense improved after they benched William, but they. They've been improving over the past couple of weeks, um, ultimately. Uh, but 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 like so the defense has been improving. Um, and and I think that's something that you can look forward to moving forward. Like they're still not creating turnovers, that's a problem. But in, in terms of like everything else with this team, um, you're not even about to be favored against no more no, none of the teams on your schedule. You're on the road against Houston. Houston's playing really good. Like you're on the road against Houston, you're not at home. Like that, that probably would have gave you the home field advantage to make it like a one point favorite in, in your in, in your favor. You probably gonna be like a, a one point underdog or something like that against Houston. And yeah, then everybody thought Atlanta was gonna be sweet. You ain't favored. You ain't about to be favored at, uh, against Atlanta. 
They got Drake London. Come on, bro. For context, they favor against them. When I say look forward to, to the draft, I wasn't necessarily talking about like seasons over look for the draft. I was talking about main, mainly the quarterback position, seeing you know, giving Ron's time. Yeah. Okay. Hell That's what yeah. I was talking about. Now, granted, Carson didn't have a bad game against Tennessee. He just had a bad play. I mean, you I know, grant he, he, he has go, some missed opportunities. You're gonna get that for Carson, but um for sure. I, I, I thought this when I looked up at his numbers and they put him on, on the jumbo they said he was 21 for 31 with 331 yards. I'm like, what? Like, I didn't even know he had that much. Like, yeah, 100 of them came on two plays. I'm the same person because he sucked. Anyway, it's bro. Yeah, 100 of them came on one play. He should have had 400 yards. Uh, to be honest with you, like he like the the fourth the first fourth down that y'all yeah that we had uh with Cole Turner Cole Turner one on the on the on the sideline on the boundary uh and, yeah. and Carson Wentz threw it in traffic, bro. I'm like who like nigga, this this man Cole Turner wide open and you said never mind the wide open guy. I'm gonna just throw it in the middle of the field and hope for the best. <laughs> like right. that um, that's 400 right there. Like you could have got you he could have housed it if you gave him a good ball. So, yeah, bro. Um, we looking at quarterbacks moving forward. This ain't this ain't it. This ain't it. Okay. Uh, hey, Rob, yeah. I'm gonna tell you. Uh, we probably drafted between 26 and 32. Okay. Uh, All right. Next I year. Think you let me know that. Okay. Um, we probably got like four losable games on the rest of our season, on the rest of our schedule for real. In my eyes, uh, we got Philly twice. We got Tennessee uh, in December. So that's gonna be a cold game. You never know what can happen. Trying to tackle Derrick Henry, we probably knock him out first quarter though. <laughs> him, him and uh, Michael go Top head up. Yeah. Nah, come on, bro. Watch yourself, like, bro. You didn't hear Michael Irvin tell you who the real Kings was, bro? Stop it, bro. Come on, bro. And then we Stop got it. um, we got Minnesota, who I believe that offense will give us probably some some go. Um, but everybody else, bro, sweet. I, I think. You might dog walk Green Bay. Uh, I don't know what's up with them, bro. I, you know, A Rod should have dipped when he had a chance, bro. Yeah, he, he, yeah, I should have dipped. Like he's that, wild. I don't but like. I don't even know like how how they about to go eighteen like all these weeks, bro. With like he be dumping off the Aaron Jones. He only look for Randall Cobb. I'm like, bro, you gotta. Trust these other kids. Like, think about it is Aaron Jones. If y'all don't notice or not, Aaron Jones leads the league in yards per carry, but he's like, no, I didn't know. he's like 19th and carries though, like number of carries. Like, he don't get the ball. Like, I mean, my thing is, you need the league. You know, it's like, it's like Tony Powell effect. You Come get on, the bro. Ball, bro. Like, 57. Like, Jones is, is making yards. Like, he, he got the lead the league in yards per carry. Like, that should tell you something. <laughs> you know, you already outside of Aaron Rodgers, he their best player on offense by far. Yeah, I mean, their receiving core isn't the best. Uh, and then after him is Robert Tunya. And he don't even get the ball either. Trust on, me, bro. I know. He on my fantasy team. He don't get the rock. <laughs> he scored up day though. Bro, he don't get the rock, bro. He scored though. I do remember him scoring. I just don't remember. It was a. It was like a twenty-three yard touchdown. Um, yeah, might have rushed the Bears. Um, but yeah, we got. I scheduled about to be sweet, bro. Um, so let's talk about these two teams, man. Um, y'all got the floor. Uh, whoever want to go first, Dallas, Tennessee. Uh, y'all got it, and um, then we can circle back to that Draymond Green shit. And, and, and figure that thing out because we talked about that for a good little minute in chat. Uh, but yeah, y'all got the floor. Well, uh, as you all know, you know I, what, Ryan? I don't even want you to go. That's crazy. So, no, I, go ahead. <laughs> kind of wild. But no, you know, I had the opportunity to actually go to the game, played the Commanders on Sunday, had great seats in the box, you know, close to the field. I mean, I had to sit behind Vrabel in case he needed some more direction. You know what I'm saying? And, I asked what head said he didn't get back to me, but it's all good. Um, I, uh, you know, in the beginning, as you all know, as I've said on the show plenty of times, you know, we're a first half offensive team, um, but our but our woes have happened in the second half where we just completely forget how to. Now, I'm not gonna say forget, but the 
the play calls in the second half is still non-existent. I mean, we were able to put together one drive, one scoring touchdown in the uh, second half off a bomb that he threw to the key to Westbrook. But second time we went down there, Tanny, I believe, took a sack and took us out of field goal range. I mean, infuriated me to, to no end. But big picture, um, we suck at DB right now. Only, we only have one good DB, in my opinion, which is Christian Fulton. As you all seen with the two big plays by Damani Brown, one that happened right in front of my face. I'm sitting there watching it happen. As soon as it snaps, he fires off the ball, and Caleb Farley is still in his back pedal, and Damani Brown is just flying up the field. I'm, I'm praying he don't see him. I'm like, I'm Deami like, Brown. Uh, make sure you get his name right. Sorry, Deami. Daddy, yeah. De- Deami Brown. I thought that's what I said. Okay, Deami. I, well, call that man too, bro. That's, that's all it is. Oh, but end two. of the day, you know, um, I like the rookie we drafted. You know, Roger McCreary, but he's still a rookie. He's still making mistakes here and there. I can't wait till we get Elijah Molden back healthy after this bye week. That'd be good for us. But I feel like we need to make a trade. <laughs> we need to make a trade for DB somehow, some way. Somebody to get on the phone during this bye week. I mean, there's no we keep marching the DBs out there like that and thinking we're gonna be able to be successful. But I think our biggest problem is finishing games in the second half. Thank God the defense was able to make a play on the goal line because I sure enough thought it was over after they called that BS pass interference uh, in the back of the end zone. But great defensive stance to win the game. You know, it was pandemonium for my side. But being in the game with the Red, it was a fun game, bro. Fans are hilarious, bro. You walk in there with the opposing team jersey on, they're going to talk trash to you all day, bro. But it was all the fun. Great game, but uh, – Still the same message, bro. Even the game we won last week, um, who we played, the Colts. Didn't score any touchdowns in the second half. Defense had to had to win the game for us. Um, just like the game following me against the Commanders. But um, until that changes, bro, I don't, you know, I, I still think we win the division. But it ain't going to mean nothing in the playoffs to come the same stuff because that stuff going to get you beat in the playoffs, bro, every time. But that's all I got for you. Well, sure. hold on now. Hold on, player, because you got – um. let me see. Let me pull up the schedule. Yeah, I got – uh. all right, about week, the Colts up. Damn, y'all always play the Colts, like, within, like, the uh, three-week time. They always frame. do that almost every this year. This shit is weird, bro. Almost every year. But at least y'all got a little break now because – Y'all going to sweep them? Yeah, it's over. I'm about to say, yeah, they, they Matt Ryan playing, he is terrible, bro. Yeah, nah. That game Thursday, like we just glossed over the fact that the Broncos and Colts played this past Thursday. That was the worst game in the history of life, bro. And it happened to be with two quarterbacks who have been in the Super Bowl before, bro. Hey, you know what's crazy? What I think this fuck? Thursday might be just as bad, if not worse. I mean, it's <laughs> I don't think it's not two, it's not two Super Bowl quarterbacks in that zone. So all right. Oh, I don't think so. Hell? But one thing about- let me add, let me want I mean about the Titans before I go. Our two best players by far, Jeffrey Simmons and Derrick Henry. Without those two players, we I don't even think we're close to three and two right now on top of the division. But um Derrick Henry seemed like he's running a little harder to me. I don't know if y'all can tell, but it seemed like he not tiptoeing like he used to. Like I think he running a little harder. And you know, as the season goes on, he always gets better. So, I mean, I'm looking forward to that. So, I think that's something to look forward to. But I'm done. That's all I wanted to say. I think you got it. All right, man. I don't got too much to talk about. Uh, Rush Hour 4 um, post production is a great, great movie. <laughs> great movie on uh, on Sunday. Um, great premiere. Got Rush Hour 5 loading this uh, Sunday night coming up. Right. Um, but that's all around is going to be, bro. Huh? How many rush hours is it finna be? Uh, five. At least five. Five, five, and then um, we going to bring Dak in against Detroit. Little, little, little uh, pickup game. Uh huh. Yeah, some yeah. chill. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we going to get back to the regular schedule program. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Dak attack, but um, proud of the boys. Uh, on the weekend, Cooper Rush actually didn't do too much. He made one big throw on um, I think third and thirteen, or Michael Gallup made a hell of a play. Um, but I mean, we won the game in the first two drives, to be honest. Uh, after the scoop and score, and then um, the block punt, I was like, bro, it's over with. They're not finna, 
do shit for real. Um, Tony Pollard, 57. 57 yarder. That's what he do. Um, I do want to give Z credit for this year. I have said he's been washed, but uh, he's been making um, – he's been looking all right, man. He's been looking not as explosive as TP because that's hard to be. But uh, he has been consistently getting like 60, 65 yards, 70 yards a game. I can appreciate that. Um, he ain't cracked a hundred yet. TP has, but we ain't gonna talk about that. <laughs> um, shout out to the defense. That boys is amazing, bro. I don't, I'm surprised. Like, I knew our defensive line was gonna be straight, but like, we also play some terrible offensive lines. But they've been taking advantage of that and getting to the quarterback, getting pressures. Um, Matt Stafford gave us another pick. That's what he do. I told y'all about him. Um, Diz got beat. Only two plays really gave up was a 75 yard jump to Coop, and then that bomb on Diggs. Other than that, Rams didn't really do shit for real. They started running the ball early, shut that down. Cam Makers went missing like week one again. Um, he went uh, missing every week, bro. Cam Makers had done nothing. Nah, he was solid the first couple of drives. Oh, he he back, and then he went back to what he was. I'm talking about all season. Hey. So what's the word on your boy Mike McCarthy? Um because um, you you didn't talk about I, I just I just want you to know I just think you were wrong the entire time. But because because you're seeing something with a glimmer of hope with your team, you you're a little happy now, bro. No, you, no, no. Uh, what I stuff. will say about Mike, uh well the whole coaching staff, really. Um we're not overthinking it. We're not trying to do too much. Um, like I know when Kellen calls plays for Dak, it's a lot different than when he calls plays for Cooper Rush. Uh, it's kind of similar to the 2016, 2017 Dallas Cowboys. But my thing is, if it worked, why not keep calling? I don't know who back there. Like, and uh, hey, I feel you, but I'm not the one out there. You feel me? I can't tell Kellen. I think because you shouldn't even. There's no need to switch up the playbook if you win the games. Now, I mean, Brandon. I mean, y'all gonna do? I mean, look, I ain't. I'm just a fan who watch it, bro. But I'm just saying, if, if this little recipe for winning, I don't, I don't care who back there, bro. We're going to run this how we're going to run it. I feel you. And I think we should do that. But I, I, saw a lot, I can say we should do that, but they got to do it come next week when we play Detroit. So hopefully they still stick with the running game, not try to pass, go crazy. Um, CD got to be better. My man dropped a couple jumps. He do that every week. Um Gallo mm-hmm. dropped a mean jump on like third and two. I was like, bro, what are you doing? But why you just talk about Detroit and just overlook the fact that y'all got Philly right now? And that's not about to be sweet. I hope nah, you. I said, I said when Dak comes back, I hope we uh next week when he comes back, I hope oh. they don't try to go back to Is it officially coming back against Detroit? That's the plan. They said that's, that's smart. Rip the ball because Detroit is ass. Yeah, so we want to come. We don't want to come back versus a, a, a vicious D line like um, what you call it, like Philly, and it's just it ain't gonna work. So Cooper Rush, get this. You know what I'm saying this your time, bro. If you want to get traded to a team for a starting role, it's it right here. You mess around, beat Philly. He probably he probably get like a first for him. You know what I'm saying. So you gonna trade Cooper Rush? I wouldn't, but I'm saying if he wanted to explore the options, we got some trade value behind him. Um, People different, man. Y'all don't recognize a good backup quarterback when you see it. We had uh, who we had? We had Andy. Andy, was Andy doing Dalton. Decent. He was ass. Yeah, he was cheeks. Daffy was cheeks. He, he won a couple jumps. Um, he better than Ben DiNucci. I tell you that. What well, that's the very low bar. He might be worse than Nate Peterman. Uh but um oh back to Mike McCarthy though. I I I'll give him his props, bro. We have cleaned up penalties like shit. Um and I don't know if he has anything to do with it, but I'll give him his credit. Uh nice he's been playing compliment. Okay. They've been playing they have been playing clean football. Um since Dak has been gone, I think week one we probably had like 12, 13 penalties. Um, we probably haven't got over eight since that. Possibly. Don't don't quote me on that. But he's just been playing clean football. I haven't been putting ourselves in a bad situation. And we're doing our thing, bro. 
Brayton Maher making field goals. Like, who are the, we got rid of this guy, brought him back, and he better this. So, you know what I'm saying? I can't complain. We'll see what happens uh, against Philly. I do think we'll win that game. I'm like 83% sure we'll win that game. 83? That's pretty high, bro. Yeah. And the only reason I say that, uh, Philly has got the past two weeks versus two good teams, well, two decent quarterbacks, Philly should have lost. Uh, well, you can't say they should have lost against Arizona because that is, you don't know if they was going to go down there and score. But at the same time, I understand that. Um, what's the other game you're talking about? Jacksonville, um, they won, I think it was 29 to 21, something like that. And they got five turnovers. Four, They had five, no, four fumble recoveries in the, and a pick. And you barely beat a team. Um and I think they had like picks in the red zone. Like they were moving the ball on on the Eagles in the monsoon. I'm like, bro. And then the Eagles also can't score in the second half. That's, that's been like a big deterrent for them too. They start off when they're on script, and then um, I just want to see. I want to see them play a full complete game. So we'll they see may what do happens. it this Sunday. They possibly, very well might. They're gonna have to. Um, hopefully, it's not a shootout. I think it'd be a very solid defensive game. Might be a boring ass game too, but all Cooper. Nah, I'm gonna be locked in. I'm gonna be locked in all Sunday, bro. It's gonna feel so good. Washington play on Thursday, bro. I can just kick my feet up, man. I wish we had. I wish Washington had like six bye weeks in the season. Like that will make my that will make my my calendar, my football calendar, like so much more incredible for a regular season, bro. Ain't Y'all just had four. For what? Bye weeks. No, we didn't. I was working. I don't y'all know about you. Y'all ain't show up, bro. Yeah, well, clear. It's, it's some podcasts and streams to, to tell me I was there wallowing my misery. That's, how that's is that, though, Mom? Like, how, how do you get through a whole season like this, bro? Like, me only a quarter through it, though, but like, how does what that do you do mean, it? Bro? Don't do that, bro, because Dallas has some bad seasons to do, bro. For sure. And don't we, do I that, bro. Do. But this is like two years in a row, bro. Bro, what you slim? Now, we ain't never had two years in a row like this. I have, but you mean I've had several bad. I said we ain't never had two. Years I said like I this. have. Well, Titans just got good not too long ago, bro. Now, now let me slow you down, bro, because you, because you, because you, because you, because you, you overstepping. Let me let Come you. Come on, bro. I remember. Uh, with, uh, First of Will, all, bro. Will Mettenberger, Jake Locker. I remember those First years. Of all, who bro. was Will Mettenberger? <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? That's Zach, Zach, Zach Mettenberger, bro. Yeah, I heard it. I was gonna let him slide. Yeah, right. Will Will Mettenberger. <laughs> that's how that's how trash he was. But I didn't remember his name. Yeah, first of all, we haven't had no quarterback named Will. So what else? Who else, what was the other quarterback your name? Jake Locker. He ain't he lying knows. though, bro. Y'all just started getting good for real. But that's y'all been saying, consistent. Bro. Y'all been consistent. Honestly, bro. after the bowl, y'all lost. nine and seven up. Good. Listen, listen. Mike 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 Mike, 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 Mike Vrabel's been there. How many years? He been in four, four or five years. Two thousand eighteen. Now, prior to Mike getting there, we had Mike Malarkey, right? Right. Mm-hmm. What a playoff Malarkey. game, Mike Malarkey. And the and Arrowhead. Y'all forgot against okay, Trey Green. You hear what I just said, bro? I literally just said y'all been good. Y'all been good since twenty sixteen. That's literally okay, what I, I said. No, and I said that's still no, that's that's that, recent, bro. Before that, yeah, before that, y'all were three and thirteen. Bro, what, <laughs> so I right, listen to what I'm saying, bro. You know, I'm not talking about three. You talk about three and thirteen with Kid Wisdom, huh? But I'm, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about talking since about? we had Mike Malarkey as our head coach. He he only coached for like a season and a half. Right, you drunk, bro? No, I'm not drunk. I'm t- so 2016 just, is when Malarkey took over. Okay, that's, bro. That's nine and seven. We sit. So we so that's not just getting good. 2016. <laughs> Nigga, what the, what are y'all so confused about? You said we just got no. Through. You're confused. I said 2016 is six years, bro. That is so a that, good that's, amount. That's good. I said that is a good that is a good amount of time to sustain success, bro. Y'all have just started getting good. That's no, good. That's, yes, that's, that, that is good. That's not just getting good to me. I'm sorry, bro. You want to know? So, what, you know? So you want to know what good is? Not no, no, hold on, wait, not nah. hold on, Nick. Before you jump in, you want to know what good is, bro? You said 2016 is, is not just getting good. I'm gonna tell you what good is, bro. Good is the Kansas City Chiefs. Playing good good football since 2013, bro. 
They've been consistent since 2013. Oh, that's, that's near. That's damn near years 10 years. Prior, bro. That's damn near. No, that's, more years than y'all, that is bro. nine. That is nine years of Andy Reid cooking shit in, in fucking Kansas so City. You, you want to talk about other? Hold on, man. Because you, you, hold on. You want to talk about Pete good? Carroll, bro? Huh? Pete Carroll, the Seahawks it's been good since good. since oh nine, bro, or however long he's been in there, bro. That it's is going good. Good, huh? It's decent. It ain't decent, right? Mike Tomlin religiously gets credit for having. 500 seasons, even though sometimes a couple times they didn't make playoffs in Pittsburgh. So yeah. that's why I'm asking you the question because we've had multiple seasons where we didn't make the playoffs, but we was 500. We have too. So that's my point. Like I, I'm, I'm just saying, that's not just getting good to me. We always been on the cusp. We've right. never really been sorry for a good little minute. I, Mettenberger played what year? I don't. You know better than I me. Know. I don't know. Uh, we drafted Mariota 2015, so 2014, and yeah, around then. Okay. That ain't just getting good to me. I'm so, Mar- all right, so how- Mariota yeah, never, had a-, Mariota agree, never had a losing season? Until you can sustain Mariota success. definitely had a losing season. Yeah, he had a couple. I, I feel like I think that the-, 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 the whole point of this conversation for me is sustain- you like sustained success is – is what makes it makes the team good. You can have like a random winning season here and there, like uh two, two, three years of you being good and then have and drop off a cliff. And, and that that one reason that y'all were successful is because somebody else left or some some person left or whatever it is. Like the, the like Carolina the Panthers, the, Cam, the Carolina Panthers, random as shit. Like they weren't they weren't that good um with, with Cam Newton around, but they had good seasons with them. Overall, it was a bad team, like they had bad teams. Um, and, and we know the reason why, because we're seeing it in Washington and the NFC East. Like that's not a good; those, those weren't good teams. Um, and then you look at, I heard Cam you say the Atlanta three, yeah, yeah, he went twelve and four, twelve and four, fifteen and one, and I think eleven and five, not thirteen and three. Never thirteen and three. I thought he no, had I like one. So. Like I think they had, they only had three winning seasons in Carolina. Niggas suck. They suck, bro. Three seasons but, um, with him, though, right? Or like it, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, they, they had three seasons. Know. But I'm saying they're not a good. They're not a good. They weren't good football teams. Is where I'm getting at. Like uh, that's not that's not good. That's not a good team. They weren't good teams. Mike Vrabel has good teams, right? And that's five years or something like that. And I said y'all are just getting good, right? That is sustained. That's sustained success. You have a head coach in here who knows what the fuck they're doing. But y'all aren't. Y'all are just getting good, bro. Let me ask it's you. It's not like. So, so you may mention about falling, having a good season to fall off a cliff. So I don't, maybe I missed the whole point, but forgive right. me for, for my question. But what I'm saying is, if you have a bad season, then you do what you just said. Like Carolina messed around and had what, like a 12 or 4 season, you said? So you don't you don't consider them to being good at that point. You just feel like they just had a good season. Yeah. Yes. Washington does that all the time. For Washington sure. hasn't won 12 games I don't know how many years, bro. Washington, no, oh my, you took it literal, bro. They went in 96. Listen, listen, Mel, thank you. Max, right. 10 games. Ten, in 99, 10 and 6, 2005, 10 and 6, uh, 2012, 10 and 6, uh, 2015, 9 and 7, 20. Uh, but see, this is, and that's, but see, what y'all are laughing at is actually my point. That's literally what I'm getting at. They had good, they had good seasons. Is that, is, is that a good team? Are these, bro, are I don't these, think that's a these... good season all the time, though, bro. That's a, you said that's what? A, let, let me not. That's a good season. You're right. You're, you're, you're correct. But it's not a good team, bro. Those you're aren't correct. good. Those aren't good. Like, those – and what I'm what Don't I mean, like, like whatever you. whatever regime it is, under the regime, those aren't good teams, bro. But y'all ain't never you won 11 games? lightning in the bottle type of season. That's my point. <laughs> Ever, bro? No, wow. that part, that, that, that be in the history. The yeah. Y'all never won eleven games. Yes, in the history. Yes, yes, they have. Are you talking about in the history of the team? Yeah, nigga, we went fifteen and one one year. Yes. Who y'all lose to? We lost to Dallas. We split the season. We split the season <laughs> uh, with Dallas, bro. Come on, man. Why did you answer the question? Nigga, it don't matter. We won the Super Bowl that year. Don't fucking matter. <laughs> the answer to the question. <laughs> It don't matter. We won the Super Bowl. I don't care. We can we can we can lose to Dallas that year and hey, win the Super Bowl. Side note, though. Brian. Nah, I'm not done yet, bro. Because y- you know what? I want everybody. It don't matter. People going to listen to this and understand what I'm saying, bro. Nobody cares. I think, I think you just. Bro. Yeah, I just think you. I just think you responded because you know what I'm saying. You like the Titans. No, bro. My thing. All is, right. What's the so, side note? Go so, ahead. No, no, no. I have it's, moved it's, on. Made the point. 
maybe, right, maybe, if, if maybe, maybe the wording is wrong. Teams, Titans you, haven't you, been relevant for a long time. I would put it like, bro, that. if you ask me right now, Titans still ain't relevant. So what you exactly. mean? But they, they, they know y'all know y'all AFC Championship. We did not make the AFC Championship, and the, like two years, three years ago, yeah, maybe. But I'm just saying though, like that, you know what I'm saying? Y'all have consistently been number one AFC, number one AFC, bro. That's, but that's what I'm. But my that's relevant, is, bro. You can't say we're just getting good. Like I'm sorry, just that that just doesn't work well with me. I'm okay, sorry. y'all, y'all are just getting good. relevant. Six straight seasons of being playoff teams and actually winning the playoff games, like that. Is, Six years ain't a long time for real, bro. Not in the NFL. Ooh, what? Six straight. Let me actually nah. I'm sorry. Now nah, that one, that one was bad. Let me clarify. Let me clarify. Yeah, in terms bad. of longevity, like six years is a little different compared to like the 10 years, or 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 like you look at a um what's that man's name? Um Tom, and we just talked about in Pittsburgh. Like that's longevity. Now that's an anomaly because Pittsburgh they don't fire that many head coaches. Anomaly. <laughs> anomaly. <laughs> Phenomenal, bro. Phenomenal league, nigga. <laughs> but yeah, bro, I I just think knowing coming from a place of of understanding, knowing where Washington has has been, like it ha- like matter of fact, let me be let me be even fair. Um, I think four or five years is probably actually a, a is actually a reasonable time frame. Like if you if you're winning consistently, like for around that time frame, I'll be fair. That's 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 fine. And I'm not saying, and, and even still, like with that being said, like just getting good is is probably a, a a fair a fair assessment of that. Six years or seven years, like you all had, what's that? Since yeah, six years, that's that's a team that's that's been good for a, for 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 a few years, you know. Okay, so I say I think that's I think that's that's the fairest thing. But the whole point is like in turn, like I guess the overall thing for me is like longevity is about being able to stack seasons, stack wins on top of wins, and. And for a team like Dallas, who looks like they're about to have another winning season this year, um, it's their their future's good, but you know, they need to they need to keep doing it because like they've had that them JC Garrett years where they had that lightning in the bottle and then they go back to eight and eight and then shit like that. Those aren't that ain't good. So that's one thing about Jason Garrett. Bare minimum, bro. He's gonna get you an eight and eight. It don't matter. As soon as he leaves, they go four and one. Giants, I'm saying. <laughs> season after he gone, they go four and one start the season. That's your take. Nah, I, I do think Brian Daywell is a good coach, though. Yeah. I said that during the game we played. I said, bro, like, I, I, fuck, with, I fuck with Daywell, bro. Um, so. But, yeah, like I was saying, shout out, though, being in the stadium for that Brian Robinson uh, intro for his first game back, bro, they playing the mini men. Bro, that drum was iconic, bro. Iconic. I'm like, bro, I know he's not coming out the mini men from 50. <laughs> Come on, bro. Bro, I was like, hey. There's no hope. other intro he could have had. I don't care how hype these I ain't gonna lie, I ain't see that coming. That was tough. I don't care, bro. He not getting off of us today, bro. I don't care how hype this video is, bro. <laughs> well, luckily, we some A's uh, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the run game. So, Mar, I got a question. Um, if y'all I ain't lose, got time for no more commander questions. If I y'all lose Thursday, I tried you think, to say I, I tried to stop myself, but I mean I had to ask that one question. If y'all lose Thursday, do you think Ron gone? No, ain't going. I think I may. I right, put it this way: I think his his seal his fate is sealed. Um, in terms of like after this year, but he ain't getting fired in the season. So who are some candidates out there, Mar, that you could be potentially looking at right now? I guess it's I don't too early. No. Uh, D'Amico, D'Amico Ryan, San Francisco, Byron Leftridge, like Tampa. Um, those are two that, that always ring into my head right Man, now. I'm not finna hire them boys. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, you don't know that. Have you had a black head coach, Mark? Who the special teams coach in uh, Giants? That's who y'all gonna hire. Bro. All right, let's get to beat the eyes, bro. Cause I'm 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 about sick and tired of it. Yeah, hey, bro. Whole time I wanna know um who the teams we picked. It's been two weeks, bro. I need to figure out what was that last. The I'm last... To, I, I gotta I gotta show the screen, right? Yeah, I got you. I got I you. Think I went two and one. I got you. I'm about to bring this thing up right now. I don't know. Oh shit, I'm tripping. Mom wants to be three and now. He's too anxious to do this. I got you right now, right? Come on. Nah, I just went. You was trying to remember. I just, I'm about to bring it up for you right quick. All right, let me go ahead and zoom, man. How this looking? It look good. I can see. Uh, oh, there we go. I had to. Now nah, we good. Yeah. I'm on my iPad though, so Nick probably on his little cell phone. You know. 
<laughs> on his little cell phone. <laughs> All right. So I had Baltimore, Buffalo, Buffalo, Chargers, 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 and then Tampa. I don't know what's the who's who. I'm about to go back to it wasn't last week, right? Because we skipped, we weren't here for week five. So let's go ahead and put the, the yellow around for these. What's time here. Are you are far, you are the third one right here. Okay. Um, and now we'll bring this one up. So we got Baltimore. Let's see who took that one. Took the cake with Baltimore. Uh the three and a half covered. So that's my that's probably my saving grace. The three and a half covered. Back. They covered. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, was cover, bro? Make it was 2320. Mm. Ew. That's mm-hmm. nasty. Green light, baby. All right. Now Houston, LA, Chargers covered. We all green on that one. Oh Lord. And then <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> so me and Nick go two and one. And the good man, right dog. Go hold on, boy. You got Tampa two. Bay. He won the bottom one, Joe. But I, I just want to tell y'all, don't bet against Tom Brady. Tom Brady, he's gonna wax right. them boys. Never say that, boy. No. That's what y'all I said. said I, I said that. Uh, he never said that. And look Why what you Tom over Brady here worried about what I'm doing? We we got the same record, buddy. Oh my you bad. Go two and one game, but I'll take it. If you want me to like all right, let's get into the last. Let's get into the uh, beat the eyes, Brad. I just know this is probably one of the hardest weeks. This, this is. I think I'm gonna take off this. One. Well, we know we're doing the Sunday night take game. I keep forgetting about that one. You pick it. Sunday night. Ooh, Sunday night game. Dallas and Philly. Okay. Give me Dallas Philly plus Philly, whatever, bro. It's Philly minus, bro. Oh, okay. Say less. Dallas versus Philly. Say Philly. Philly. It's like five. Uh, it's five. Ooh. Still five. All right, now let's get the other two games. Um, we're going. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, we gotta do it. We gotta do it. Buffalo. Um, they are one point five. <coughs> KC got to do that one for sure. Mm. Can't can't miss that one. Um, I keep forgetting I got a structure. Got to do this. Don't just keep the same. Plus. One, I have, and then who's gonna be our first one? That's a tough one, bro. Let's do uh the Thursday night game. No, um, <laughs> let's go ahead and do Minnesota and Miami. No, mm. I don't know what's going on with the quarterback situation. That's a good one. What time let's they do... play? 12, one o'clock. Or why? I know, I got one o'clock jump. I'm still looking. He sounds ugly, bro. I told you this, this week ugly, bro. You should have did Cincy and uh, New Orleans. That's probably the better game. Oh yeah, New Orleans and Cincy. Yeah, Cincy. All right, boom. There we go. We got our games. All right, Cincy and New Orleans first game up. Right, you got the flow. Who you got? Nola. Okay, you got the home dogs. Okay. All right, are we doing a control V for you, Nick? Well, me? Boy, yeah. where, did, where did Joe Burrow go to school at? The U of Louisiana State. Of LS. Give me the boys for their homecoming, bro. He finna throw for uh 350. You sleep. I'm about, to, I'm about to lock this number in now, actually. Like, when we get off this show, I actually, I like Cincy, too. I really like Cincy in this situation. Boy, you I'm crazy. going. Boy, it's a homecoming for them. Bro, it's a homecoming. To... Matter of fact, I'm about to do it right now. Come on, lock that thing in. Yeah, lock it in. Yeah. Dummies. Hell yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, bro. Nick, you up, man. Bottom, uh, Buffalo, Kansas City, though. Who you got? Kansas City. Man, the, home, uh, home, home dogs. A great game at uh, Arrowhead. <laughs> um, give me Gabe Davis and the Buffalo Bills. Come on, bro. I thought you said Bro's something else. Control V, bro. Buffalo Olden Boys, bruh. Come on, bruh. Just Olden like boys. just like Kansas City beat the shit out of time of them for that payback. Kansas, Buffalo finna. They Olden Boys. They ain't forget about them 13 seconds, bruh. They Olden Boys. Come on, bruh. I think we got Buffalo all across the board here, so. Yeah, come on, man. I'm gonna go yeah. ahead and do the control Z, control V for all of us. Um, 
All right, here we go. Last game. Philly, Dallas, man. Philly five-point favorites at home. I guess I'll take the floor first one on this one since y'all went. On the other two, um, he didn't want to say it. Just typed it in. All right, what we got? What you got, uh, Ryan? Dallas plus five, bro. Oh my gosh. I think we doing the control C, control V thing, Nick. Let me tell you something, man. I'm ch- trying to my end of my curve. Bro, y'all gonna blow me, bro. Y'all about to get the doors going off. Watch, bro. Just well, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Just be my luck, bro. Let me tell you something. All right, hold on. Was... All right. Let me get... hold on. Wait. Give me two seconds. I-, I got you. Hold on. I was just in Hollywood. All right. Go ahead. Get your. Go ahead. Get your speech on, bro. Bro. <laughs> bro, take this music off, bro. <laughs> Just speech on, bro. Bro, please. Bro, I thought you up, had bro. the violins playing at first. I'm like, oh, this. Just speech on, bro. All right, but look though, bro. I was in Hollywood the other day and um, talking to a producer about Rush Hour Five, and of course, the, the line is at five, bro. So I gotta take my boy. Oh my God, bro. F Dallas plus five. Control V. Let's get it. Yeah. You gave me one of the worst speeches ever with one of some of the best background music you could ask for. Bro, bro first of all, the music you blew, blew me it. off, bro. That shit blew me. Music. You just wasn't perfect. you wasn't you wasn't prepared, bro. You you need to be prepared. I wasn't all the prepared time. for it. You know what I'm saying? A speech you supposed out. to go, you supposed to go with the beat, bro. Nah, you blew it. I tried to channel right right knew what to do, man. I'm a, I'm gonna I'm gonna say that for him for his next uh um Next week when he talks about the Titans. Yeah, next time, just some organs, bro. That, bro. I'm good. Next time, just some organs, bro. <laughs> All right, man. That wraps it up for the Beat the Odds. Um, I think we good then. I think we good, man. Um, We didn't get to talk about Draymond, but it's all good. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. We should have what it is. Nah, uh, no, right? it's easy, bro. Draymond got to go. Uh-uh. Immediately. Nah, you don't have to go, bro. Fights happen, bro. That shit just... You got recorded, bro. Happy, bro. But, but not shit, they bro. Don't, don't, the video don't leak publicly. Yeah, yeah, I, they do. Not like that. Bro. Not all the time. Yeah, but the they do. It's rarely you catch that stuff on video, bro. Like oh, bro. I seen the Steve right. Blake Gilchrist joint. Yeah, that's on. But that yeah. was, I mean, but that's the only one I could think of. Really, that when Michael Jordan punched Steve Kerr in the face, that's not on tape. But they was able to, you know, yeah. with, with it not being on video, bro. You know what I mean? That helps it slide over the rug a little bit. I mean, yeah, he had an altercation, but yeah, it did, also helps that it was in the nineties. Did Josh Norman and Cam fight get out? That's training camp. There was yeah, pictures of it, but they know what they was. That's bro. You know how that's these training picture, camp bro. fights get caught on tape, bro. Nothing like that though. You just get walked up and stole on. Nah, not like that, bro. Come on, bro. In practice, like bro. But end of the day, bro. If I'm Jordan Poole, bro, I'm sorry, bro. Like, I mean, end of the day, bro. Everybody's a man. Everybody different. Everybody handles stuff differently. But me, me personally, I feel like y'all feel the same way, bro. I think it's good that Draymond is taking his time off because if I had to see Draymond Green the next day and I'm Jordan Poole, bro, it's on site, bro. Like, he going to have to see me until <laughs> until I feel better about it, bro. Like, I'm sorry, bro. Like, you just don't do stuff like that. At the end of the day, you, yeah, you get into little arguments with your teammates, even – even with some of your men, you know what I'm saying? Y'all might push each other, get a little shoving matches, but it's never about that, about swinging. I mean, granted, you know, I they got Draymond on camera on one of his podcasts talking about how much he likes the way Jordan Poole talks trash to his teammates and, you know, feel like it brings the best out of all of them. He, you know, he said he likes that kind of stuff. But then, obviously, you must not. <laughs> you must not because you swung on him. And when he wasn't even thinking you was going to swing. And, you know, at the end, of the, yeah. end of the day, you know, like Ma said, fights happen, bro. But, you know, it's different when it get leaks on, on when it get leaked on video, bro. It's, it's just, you know, that's the problem <laughs> that it got out. And they could have they could have triaged it and swept it under the rug and it'd have been that. But once that video got out, whoever leaked that joint, I'm sure they got paid. But, you know, it's different when it's out. They all fired, though. They all fired? It gotta be. Somebody gotta be gone, bro. Yeah, we're gonna see. Ain't no word just yet. Steve Kerr said they're looking into it though. Um, but all right, fellas, ladies, everybody that's paying attention, everybody that's watching, appreciate y'all for checking in. 
Trap or Die channel. Uh, the fellas finna be back next week. I'm about to be gloating about my three and O in the beating the odds, and um, we also going we also going so uh circle back down the line about how um actually we can't even do that with the the blind five this week. It, it's just surprise teams, but you know my list is probably just the best anyway. It is Wrong. what it is, but <laughs> but the fellas is gonna be back next week, man. We're gonna chop it up. We're gonna check in with Rice, see how his little trip to Mexico was um but yeah we out of here man y'all be safe enjoy y'all day enjoy y'all night all that good stuff Peace. he just blew me damn set huh watch him throw the ball we gonna pick it off you gonna let him hit the hole or you gonna cut it off you gonna play through fourth and long or you gonna punt it off your defenders have you hit us put your pads in don't be looking for the ref to throw no flags in keep the helmet on Keep the cleats tight. You the type to want to win by any means, right? You should look alive. This is Trap or Dive.